Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, assalamu alaikum. In this video, we're going to cover a very basic and simple form of the prayer in Islam. In the next video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about the prayers and how to pray them in detail. But in this video, we just want to show you the very basics of prayer. So again, this is for someone who's just starting out. I'm going to demonstrate how to pray two rakahs or two cycles of the prayer, which is how you would pray the Fajr prayer. For Maghrib, you would add an additional cycle and end in the same way. For Dhuhr, Asr, and Isha, you would repeat the two cycles and then end in the same way. I just wanted to mention, you don't need one of these prayer rugs. Most people use them to mark the direction of prayer or to provide extra padding, but otherwise they're completely unnecessary. So we start the prayer by facing the direction of Mecca. We're going to start with our feet facing forward, shoulder width apart, and we're going to at this point make the intention to pray whatever prayer it is that we are praying. And while we do this, we're going to say Allahu Akbar while raising our hands to just below our ears and then folding them across our chest with the right hand over the left. We then say quietly, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim. We then say quietly, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. We then recite the first chapter of the Quran. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Rahim, Malik Yawm Al-Din. We then say, Ameen. We then say Allahu Akbar as we lower into a bowing position with our hands on our knees and our back flat parallel to the ground. We then quietly say, Subhana Rabbil Azim, once while bowing. We then say, Semi Allahu Liman Hamida, while rising up from bowing. Once standing, we quietly say, Rabbana Walakal Hamd. We then say, Allahu Akbar, as we lower into prostration. We prostrate by placing our forehead, nose, hands, knees, and feet touching the ground with our elbows spread out and our feet together. While prostrating, we quietly say, Subhana Rabbil A'la. We then say Allahu Akbar as we rise up into the sitting position. We sit in the following manner. We sit on our knees with our left foot flat underneath our buttocks and on our right toes with our heel pointed up. This can be extremely difficult for some of us, so it is okay to sit on your knees with your buttocks resting on the soles of your feet like this. While sitting, we quietly say Rabbi Ghafirli. We then say Allahu Akbar as we lower into prostration again. While prostrating, we quietly say Subhana Rabbil A'la once. We then say Allahu Akbar as we rise up into the standing position with our arms on top of our chests, with our right on top of our left. We then say quietly, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim. We then say quietly, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. We then recite the first chapter of the Quran. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Rahim, Malik Yawm Al-Din. We then say, Ameen. We then say Allahu Akbar as we lower into a bowing position with our hands on our knees and our back flat parallel to the ground. We then quietly say, Subhana Rabbil Azim, once while bowing. We then say, Semi Allahu Liman Hamida, while rising up from bowing. Once standing, we quietly say, Rabbana Walak Al Hamd. We then say, Allahu Akbar, as we lower into prostration. We prostrate by placing our forehead, nose, hands, knees, and feet touching the ground with our elbows spread out and our feet together. While prostrating, we quietly say, Subhana Rabbil A'la. We then say Allahu Akbar as we rise up into the sitting position. We sit in the following manner. We sit on our knees with our left foot flat underneath our buttocks and on our right toes with our heel pointed up. While sitting, we quietly say Rabbi Ghafirli. We then say Allahu Akbar as we lower into prostration again. While prostrating, we quietly say Subhana Rabbil A'la once. We then say Allahu Akbar as we rise back up into the sitting position. While in the sitting position, you are going to say the following two supplications. First, you will say, 
التحيات لله والصلوات والطيبات السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله You are then going to say اللهم صلي على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميل مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Then you are going to say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah while turning to the right. And then you are going to say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah while turning to the left. And this completes the prayer, which consists of two cycles or two rakahs. It is important to note that every prayer, the first two cycles are going to be the same. The only difference is that if you were going to pray Maghrib, which is three cycles, you would do everything the same as the prayer that we just demonstrated, except instead of saying Assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullah, to the right, and then to the left, at the end of the second cycle, you would say Allahu Akbar while standing up, and pray one more cycle, just like the last one demonstrated in this video, and finish in the same way. If this were Dhuhr, Asr, or Asha, which are four cycles, you would do everything the same as the prayer that we just demonstrated, except, instead of saying Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullah, at the end of the second cycle, to end the prayer, you would say Allahu Akbar while standing up, and pray two more cycles, just like the prayer that we demonstrated in this video, and finish in the same way. This is the very basic form of prayer in Islam. The next video, we go into much more detail about the prayer and the specifics of how to pray. We ask that Allah accepts our prayers and makes it easy for us to be amongst those who pray.